Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV, I'm Brett. We've got a game that's recently released from Cryptozoic Entertainment. Batman the Animated Series almost got him card game. Now, this card game is based off of a classic Batman the Animated Series episode called Almost Got Him that involved a bunch of villains sitting around at a club reminiscing about how they almost caught Batman and uh, defeated him. There's a twist to it. One of the villains is actually Batman, and the whole thing has just been a setup to find where Catwoman is, and the Joker has been hiding her and been threatening and stuff like that. So, really famous episode, fantastic classic episode. If you've never seen it, it's the 46th episode of the series. You should go check it out. So, the card game is based on this famous episode, and villains use their special abilities to help their team figure out who Batman is disguised. Uh, then, accuse that player and vote, and then if they discover Batman before he wins, the villains win together. Now, Batman must use his wits to remain hidden. He needs to subdue villains to win, and the number of subdued villain Batman needs to win is based on how many players. Players can be subdued by Batman during a blackout and by voting during a round. No matter how players subdued, each player still counts towards Batman's victory condition. Villains need to be careful, avoid subduing their fellow villains by vote, uh, yet they may make this risk in order to win. Now, if that sounds really confusing, this is kind of a, pro a popular game that's really kind of taken off in recent years. I would say it really first launched with Werewolf uh, and uh, Mafia well, quite a few years ago, and it's kind of since kind of evolved over time to uh, to include more in different uh, um, uh, mechanics. The latest, I think, being Secret Hitler is it's this type of game where you it's a very social game. You're supposed to uh, interact and figure out you know who is on what team. So we're gonna open this up. We're gonna show off what's inside this box. Now, of course, first and foremost, you see it's got the classic Batman animated series, Batman uh, art. We see the villains involved. It had Joker, Two-Face, uh, Killer Croc, Penguin, a whole bunch more. Some fantastic art. I mean, I don't know if uh, you grew up with it, but I loved that classic series. Uh, the game's from age 15 and up. Definitely not for a 0-3 to three year old. From Cryptozoic and DC Entertainment. It includes one custom poker deck with two Jokers, 13 character cards, 9 secret roll cards, rule book, and lots of support cards. So the game is about 30 minutes for 5 to 8 players ages 15 up, and as I said, so now this is a game that you need uh, a whole bunch of people to play, uh, so that's probably maybe the one downside. This isn't kind of a casual game for folks to play, you really need to, uh, to get them. So we've got this nice little token that you'll be using in the game. Got the Batman anime series logo. As I said, the game involves villains. Everyone takes a role, and it's a random role. You don't necessarily know what you are and who you're going to be. So it's all kind of randomly uh, 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 um, given to individuals. So we've got some rules, explanation there, things to explain uh, with different the round sequence and then the blackout, and we've got character cards. So in this game, even though there were only a few in the episode, this one kind of expands it. We've got the Joker, Ra's al Ghul, Harley Quinn, Penguin, Poison Ivy, Two-Face, the Riddler, Scarecrow, Bane, I always thought Bane looked like a clown in that. I was never a big fan of Bane's mask. Uh, Killer Croc, Ventriloquist, and Scarface. Clayface, when I think one of the uh, villains who was helped the most by this series. Mr. Freeze. And you go through and you kind of, uh, everyone gets dealt a, uh, a character um, to play in their role in the game. It gets really, really interesting because everyone gets their own little special abilities as well. So, you know, once per turn game, you discard a, uh, a jack and you can do some special things with the Joker. Really high quality cards, solid, uh, solid looking cards overall. And as I said, there is a, a deck for people to play. So, uh, everyone's got a roll. We're gonna show off these cards in a second. So we've got there a nice objective card for people to be reminded what to go. Batman, if you get a uh, number of players is four to five, you need to subdue uh, two people. If it's 67, it's three. And then 
uh, poker hand reference for folks who might not know. Uh, no, in the game you kind of hand off what people's roles are and abilities. Of course, someone is Batman in disguise, sneaky, watchful, someone's the saboteur, someone's telepathic, uh, Catwoman in disguise, then we got crafty, homicidal, and healer. And based off of that is some of the things that you're going to be needed to do. This is your secret role overall in the game, like what you're supposed to be doing uh, to interact with everyone else. The cards all have a little bit different when it comes to the actual type of cards. We've got two jokers. You'll notice instead of the normal suits in the game, we've got based off of characters with Mr. Freeze diamonds being one with Mr. Freeze, Catwoman, Two-Face, Riddler, show this off, we've got Scarecrow, Poison Ivy, and Riddler and some Joker cards. Ace, we got a Batman set. So even if you know you don't want to play the game for the way the game is made, you still have got four sets of cards. You got a, you know, a full set of cards here that you can go and play regular poker and just use them. For the Batman, we've got Batman, Robin, Cat, um, Batgirl, just Batman, and hearts for Harley Quinn. We got Penguin, Harley Quinn, and then Joker and Harley overall. So, you know, even if you have no interest in playing the game whatsoever, you at least get a deck of cards out of it. I mean, overall, it's a really interesting uh, uh, game. It, it captures the theme of the episode really, really well. There's this deduction aspect of it. It plays off poker, which is what, you know, folks are playing in it. You, everyone takes on their roles, and it really is a solid, different take on the uh, social deduction game uh, that's become really popular over the few years. This game retails for about $19.99. I'm sure you could probably get it a little cheaper. We're going to have links below this video. It's going to be affiliate links, so we do get a little bit. We're going to try to find some uh, cheap prices for you so you can go and get this and get yourself. You know, if you are a Batman fan, if you're a fan of Batman the Animated Series, you're probably going to pick this up, if nothing else, just for the cards alone to go and, uh, you know, get your Batman-themed poker night, though, you know, there are tons of poker games out there. You get the added bonuses that you get this second game with it. But overall, uh, product is pretty solid. You know, the quality of the pieces is, is good. You know, everything's uh, there's a little bit heft to it. Nothing's too flimsy, I don't think. So, you know, you're paying a, uh, a little bit premium of it, but you're getting some decent quality items in there. You know, I don't know how long, uh, how well they'll hold up to repeated play um, and, you know, the vig figures of that. But, you know, it is a card game, so, uh, you know, sooner or later things are going to get pretty torn up. Uh, as I said, if you're a Batman animated series fan, you might want to check this out and, uh, and get your own copy if you are a fan of Batman, though, DC Comics, stuff like that, you should go check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time, keep playing those games and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.